Welcome back to Parasport Home Exercise Videos with Miranda and Kira. The third in the series, and hopefully today we're going to have a bit of fun. It is all cardio based, but they are games that hopefully you've seen before, and we're just upping the energy a little bit. You won't need any equipment at all, unless you really feel the need for a chair to help you balance, but try and work within your own balance ability and use it more as a cardio element. Head, shoulders, knees and toes. Hopefully we all know this game. We're going to start by just tapping each part of the body, head, shoulders, knees and toes and rolling our back as we reach down to the toes. As you come back, you're going to try and touch each part and after your head, put your arms in the air. So that is the pattern of movement and we're going to get slowly faster and faster. So we're using this as a bit of a warm up. We're using our stomach muscles to help us bend forward and back and we're just being careful of our back. If your back starts to hurt, don't reach down to your toes, only reach as far as you're comfortable. And we're just going to get a little bit faster, try and raise that heart rate, raise that breathing speed so we're getting nearer towards a warmed up body and some cardio element to the head, shoulders, knees and toes. So try and keep remembering all the bits of the body that you're meant to touch. Doesn't matter if you miss one sometimes, but we want to try and keep that motion going, that forward and backwards and the arms active. Don't stop, keep going. And get a bit faster. Get a bit confusing as we get faster. The faster we go, the more energy we're going to be using to do the movement and the higher our heart rate is so that we can be nice and warmed up for the rest of the exercise. And we're going to start slowing down again so that we're breathing normally and relax. Okay, star jump. So again, Kira's going to do it standing and I'm going to do it in the chair. We're going to break down the movements of the star jump. So first, just one leg. You're taking it out to the side at a diagonal. So you might want to start with the stronger leg for balancing and just moving out and in. We're doing that diagonal movement. And then if we're happy, we're going to get an arm involved. So an arm out at that diagonal. Now really important for this one, using those stomach muscles, pull your stomach in, shoulder blades back and down, so your trunk is holding its position and you're using all those trunk muscles. And then if we're happy, we can try and do the other side. So again, starting just with that leg, keeping those trunk muscles tight, taking it out and in, and try not to move the trunk if we can help it. And then we're going to get the arm involved. So arm on a diagonal, pulling in and out, using those stomach muscles, feeling your thigh and your arm move, or the muscles at the top of your thigh and on your shoulder. If you don't have a great range of motion, just move as far as you can. And then we're going to try to do both sides in the chair. Kira is going to move with the motion. So she's going to step to the side bring the other foot to meet and step back and use the arms as she's going. So step to the side, arm up, bring the feet to meet and back the other way. That's lovely. And I'm going to try and do a full jump in the chair. So make sure you're nice and solid, both legs. And if you can, both arms at the same time and using all those trunk muscles, pulling tight on your stomach, shoulder blades down, nice and controlled movements. And if that's not getting you puffing, then try and speed up the motion. So if you have to speed up by moving to just legs or just arms, then do what works for you. But remember, we're working on cardio, we're working on getting our breathing rate up. And a few more, three, two, one and relax. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, belly dancing. So this is a very small movement, but it's very helpful for your posture and your control. So we're warmed up, we're breathing a bit faster, we're gonna get some control of our midriff. So the first thing I want you to do is stick your bottom out. So in the chair or standing up, sticking your bottom out should be one of the easiest things you can do. Make sure your weight is through the middle of your feet or between your buttocks. And then we're gonna tuck in. So we're pulling that bottom in, shifting our pelvis forward. And I'm slouching to exaggerate it. But if we push out and pull in, the roll should come from the hip area. And if we've got nice control, we should be able to do it without that slouch. So it's just the lower back moving. Now, it can take a lot of practice to get that control, but it really helps for your walking control and your posture. And then we're gonna add in the side to side elements. So going back to neutral, we're gonna take one hip up towards the shoulder. So just a hip hitch. Hitching towards the shoulder, squeezing the side muscles. And then we're gonna try the other side. Exactly the same thing, bring that hip up towards the shoulder. Squeezing those side muscles. Try and bring the hip up. But if you can't take the shoulder down, and then we're gonna go side to side. So wiggle one way and then the other. So we've got a lovely bottom wiggle out of this. And then we're gonna make a nice circle with all those movements. So bottom out, one hip up, tuck in, other hip, and then bottom out. So you're making that circular motion with your hips. So bottom out, hip up, tuck in, other hip, bottom out. Bottom out, hip up, tuck in, other hip, bottom out. And then see if we can go back the way we came. So bottom out, second hip, tuck in, first hip, bottom out. And then you can speed that up. So this is never going to become a cardio, but if you've got nice control, you can turn it into a belly dance. And you should feel all those little muscles that don't get a lot of use stirring up. And the more control we have, the less we start moving our shoulders while we're doing it. And what is a belly dance without a shimmy? So we're going to work a little bit on that. So all I want you to do is standing still or sitting still, bring one shoulder forward and back, forward and back forward and back so the arms stay by the side or like me sitting on your knees and then we're going to try the opposite shoulder so again forward back forward back forward back then we want each shoulder to do the opposite thing so one shoulder goes forward as the other goes back and we swap back and forth and again if we start to speed this up into smaller movements we can start to get that shimmy motion in and if you're a really skilled belly dancer, you can do both at the same time. Okay, now we've warmed up those little muscles, we can relax. Okay, boxing movements. So this isn't learning how to punch, but this is learning to use it for some cardio. So we're gonna make sure we're using those stomach muscles, nice posture to start with, feet flat on the floor, even if you're seated, and we start in the guard position. So you want that fist closed, thumb on the outside of the fist, uh, elbow bent and palms forward towards your face. If you can't make a full fist, just do palms open. And we're just gonna go straight forward with our first movement. So holding those trunk in, turning the palm down and extending at the elbow. So your arm is reached out in a punch at chin height straight in front of you. So we'll practice a few of those. In and out, in and out. And then we we'll try the same thing on the other hand. So again, turning down and extending, keeping that punch high and coming back into that guard position with your fist in front of your face at the end of the movement. 
and we're going to go alternate so one then the other and what we want to do for now is try and keep our trunk completely still so we're going to speed up and we're going to imagine that the end of the punch we're actually making contact and that should give you that extra bit of power from your pecs from your chest muscles and the top of your arm and you should feel that impact and then if we speed up we can start going back towards our cardio so just going at your own pace but trying to keep it a nice speed and slowing down again and relax so we can try a cross punch so for the cross punch we're going to get our back a bit involved so again we're turning the palm down extending but this time we're going to extend so that we're crossing the body and the punch finishes in front of the opposite shoulder so to do that you want to bring the active shoulder in and twist the back so you're really getting something at the end of that punch so turning in and turning out turning in bringing the shoulder back bringing the shoulder forward really keep that fist up at chin height and then we're going to try the opposite side same thing T twisting extend across the body and use the shoulder use that shoulder to add to that punch and then we're going to go from one side to the other so make sure that back is actually moving now that little boxes duck from side to side and speed it up again think about that power at the end of the punch make full contact and use all those muscles around your shoulder blade to help you make a powerful powerful punch and as we get faster again we're getting that cardio element in trying to keep our legs still solid on the ground and just use everything from the waist up to really get the heart pumping get the breathing going and get some energy out and slow down and we can relax okay pirates you may or may not have played this game but we're going to do it just stationary sitting or standing with five commands so the first command is overboard. If you hear me shout overboard, you want to put your arms in the air and start swimming, get back to the boat. I want you to hold your stomach muscles in and really use the energy of your shoulders. The next command is captain's coming. So saluting, stomach muscles in, shoulders down, really good posture. Sitting or standing up as straight as you can. Then we've got hit the deck. So we're curling up, curling into a ball to hit the deck. Lifeboats, we're going to be rowing. So that rowing motion side to side. Again, use those stomach muscles. And the last one is climb the rigging. So you're climbing, you can do hands or you can do hands and feet as if you're climbing that rope ladder. But we're going to do it in all different orders. Keep remembering your stomach muscles. Try and keep quick and active throughout this this exercise so we're going to go first for overboard so swim 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 as fast as you can get back to the ship and then man the lifeboat so we're rowing we're rowing and then we've got to climb the rigging we're going to climb 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 then overboard and then the captain's coming and lifeboats and hit the deck and lifeboats and climb the rigging and overboard and climb the rigging and lifeboats and captain's coming and hit the deck and lifeboats and climb the rigging and overboard and lifeboats 
And captain's coming. And relax. Thank you for joining us today. Take care, stay active, and hopefully we'll see you again very soon.